Hi, um, my name is Hamda Sophia Mir. I am a um, solution integrator at GE Digital. Uh, what I do day to day is that I manage, I sorry, I work on a software that manages the electricity distribution in certain parts of the world. Um, what that entails is that um, I do a lot of uh, a lot of scripting, um, a lot of uh, testing for any defects or issues. Um, I also work with the customer to try and configure it, to configure the system and the software so that their control engineers can use it um, and it'll be easier for them to manage um, you know, an outage in the area, for example. So I've been in this job for um, just under two years now. I started in August 2018 um, and 2018 was actually when I graduated from my degree. So I literally finished in May and then I had a couple of months free and then I dived right in the world of work. Um, as an undergrad, I basically, I studied electrical and electronic engineering. Um, it was a four year course because it had a year in an industry as well. Um, in During my year in an industry, I actually did this position that I'm currently working at. Um, so I was a in I was a project engineer, but an intern. Um, and I had less responsibilities than I do now, since I since I was just an intern. Um, but I learned a lot about business and professional um, aspects, not only in GE but in general. You know how to carry yourself, how to hold meetings, how to, um, you know, put your point across. Um, as well as, you know, dealing with um, some problems that a customer would have. Um, what I really appreciated from my internship is that I had, I, I built the confidence to, you know, speak to customers and be able to extract certain inf information from them um, to fix an issue that they might have. Um, and to later go and fix it and, you know, deliver it to the customer with no issues. Um, it took me a while to get there. It was obviously really nerve wracking for, um, for a customer to come to you and say, oh, I have an issue. And you're like, oh, uh, okay, I'll try and fix it. <laughs> um, but it's the, it's the way you carry yourself. And it was really important for me to really build that confidence within me and um, tell myself that I can do it. Um, I've always really, I've always had an issue with confidence, but I think over time it just kind of grows and grows. Um, it's not, it's, I don't think confidence is something that can ever decrease. If anything, it just grows over time. Um, so I'm very grateful for that in that sense. Also, it allowed me to apply my degree, um, apply what I learned in my university degree. Uh, so in undergrad, I did electro electrical and electronic engineering, um, and there was it touched a lot of a lot of parts um, of engineering, I would say. So there was a lot of software, there was a lot of power machines, there was a lot of telecommunications, um, there was a lot of uh, electronics and um, computer systems. Um, so it was it was very broad. So it allowed me to know, you know, explore the degree and know what I would want to do in the future. Um, so prior to that, prior to that, um, I actually wanted to go into software engineering. So I, well, prior to, prior to that, I wanted to do civil engineering. Um, and prior to that, I wanted to do mechanical engineering. So I, over time, over my high school and A-levels, I learned a lot about the different types of engineering. I did a work experience with, uh, in a construction site. I um, spoke to a, computer, a few computer scientists um, and a few mechanical engineers as well. And it just didn't seem right for me. I did, it didn't seem, it was interesting, but I just, it just didn't click for me. Um, someone then told me about, you know, software engineering and how broad it is and how there's so many languages that you can learn and how advanced it can be. And I was like, that seems like something that I would want to do. Um, but over time, I thought, it's all well and good if I just do software. But I would like to know where the software goes. You know, what am I actually programming? Which is when someone told me about this degree 
that I've graduated from, which is electrical and electronic engineering. Um, it really helped me know that I can merge both software and hardware, you know, learning how to code and also embedding that code onto a piece of electronic device. Um, it was something new to me, of course. Um, I've never really had any engineering experience prior, or I should say programming experience prior to uh, my degree. Um, so it was, it was a really steep learning curve for me. Um, in my degree, I was one of two women in my class. It was a fairly small class, um, but I was one of two, uh, which I didn't have an issue with, actually. I wasn't really threatened by anyone. I didn't think that I was, you know, I was held back at all. Um, if anything, I felt more empowered. I felt like there was, this is an opportunity for me to strive and for me to grow and for me to do so much with this opportunity that has been given to me in, in basically a silver platter. Um, so I then did my internship here um, and then I did my final year and then I came to my degree, uh, to my job here, sorry, in, in Scotland. So I work in Livingston, Scotland. I, um, my interest in engineering, I think, stemmed from um, my love for maths. Um, I always loved problem solving. I always wanted to know, I always, I really liked maths in a sense that I always knew that there would be one answer and one answer only. You know, there might be many paths to go to, uh, you know, go through to get that answer, but there's only one answer. And I think that's what I really liked about um, problem solving, you know, um, but I think with engineering, it's just so much broad, it's just so much more broad because there could be so many different answers. But if you have um, the initiative, the creativity to think of a way to actually overcome this problem, then go ahead and do it. Um, I would say to anyone, to any young girls um, or young people who want to go into engineering, I would say don't give up. Um, I would say just keep moving forward, just keep swimming. <laughs> um, I would say um, don't let anyone, you know, put you down. Life is challenging, but you can't let it overtake you. Um, and I think that's it. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this. Keep safe and um, 